We gave them an empty soda can and some scraps of paper. The first daredevils set off immediately to study the new objects. Well, the ants started drinking the harmful soda straight away. Let's see how they'll react to unhealthy fast food, which is so popular among city dwellers. Chicken nuggets, potato chips, and sweet cornflakes go to the anthill. Insects are likely to be much more resistant to any food that we consider harmful, tasteless. That's because their generations change quickly, while we accumulate all of this. Accumulate all this chemistry for years. And what is it for an ant? He lived, lived his short life, and died. Others replaced him. I think that insects are more resistant in this respect. The smallest and fastest representatives of the ant colony are scouts. They are the first to try nuggets, and apparently inform the others that the food is quite edible. They don't just say about it when they go back. They, on their way back, they leave a trace of smell behind them. And the others, they just follow this trail, straight along the trail. Even if the trail is meandering, they won't get confused. They won't get lost. They'll come straight to the food, though they've never been there. There are more and more ants near the nuggets. Apparently, they like this kind of food. Some even bite off quite large chunks and take it with them. Perhaps it'll take it to the anthill, because not all ants go out to eat. It's only a certain part of the ants that leave the anthill. There are two options. Either they store food in themselves and, going back, feed the others who don't go out. This is usually nannies, the queen itself, that is, they are inside. And they don't leave the anthill when there is no urgent need for it. Accordingly, here they either eat to the full or take a piece right there inside the anthill. And there, accordingly, we'll be able to give it to those ants that are inside. And now a bigger ant joins the feast. Most likely, it's a soldier. They are not likely to play a defensive role in this case, but a function of a large refrigerator, a stock of food. What I mean is that they store food in themselves, here, in this abdomen, and they have two stomachs there. One stomach is their own, that is, they store food for themselves, eat it, and the second stomach is just like a storage place. That is, they store all this food inside themselves in case when they are inside the anthill, that is, they come later and sit in the anthill until one of those ants inside comes up to them and asks them to feed them. As for chips and cornflakes, we made a mistake, giving them to ants as they were. This food was too dry for them, so it didn't even interest them. They don't care if it's fried food, boiled food. The main thing for them is that there are proteins, there are carbohydrates, there is water, there are fats. And therefore, such flexibility about food, that is, it doesn't matter whether it's of animal origin or vegetable origin. They are ready to eat all of this.